Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna answer the question of what do I use to capture my screen? There are some free options out there. One that comes off the top of my head is OBS. That's what a lot of streamers use for just cheap streaming software, but you can use it to record your desktop as well. On the paid side, there are a ton of tools, like you could use Snagit, there's some others. The one that I use, which is a paid option, is Camtasia. Camtasia is made by the same folks that make Snagit, which is TechSmith. This is not a sponsored video. And I use Camtasia just because it's pretty easy to use. I actually started using Camtasia very early on from a guy in a cube perspective. That's actually what I use to edit everything as well. So you can do a full editing, screen capture, rendering, all of that inside of Camtasia. It's pretty great if you're just starting out. It's not super expensive. And then when I graduated up to the Adobe Cloud subscription, I still use Camtasia to capture my screen because in the Adobe suite, there's really not a great option for that. We're gonna head over to my computer, but first, because I can't actually record the screen with this option here, I'm gonna throw a screenshot in there which shows you the screen when you initially go to record your screen itself. So you'll set your screen size, you'll set whatever audio options you want, and then you'll hit the big, big red shiny button. It'll give you a three second countdown at which point it will actually begin recording. Now one trick that I use if you're not using Camtasia for actual video editing is to actually record the microphone input with Camtasia because when you do that and you go to your other editing program, you can sync the two up. And so like I'm recording my main microphone and my video on my big camera, but I'm recording the screen share on my laptop, but because I'm recording the audio from the laptop microphone, I can just sync the two up and you can see either one of them even though you're only hearing from my big microphone. So lots of tricks in that sense. So once you're in here, it's actually recording, I'll pull it up, because I could hit F10 to actually stop recording, but you'll see that it's counting, it's got my volume levels and everything here. And then when I actually stop the recording, it'll actually bring it up into the main Camtasia. So let me go ahead and do that, and then through a bit of magic, we'll go over to the main Camtasia thing. All right, then we're in the actual Camtasia. It's a little bit of inception because I'm actually recording something that I already recorded, so that's pretty cool. And then all I do from my end, because again, I don't edit inside of Camtasia, all I'd wanna do is generate the MP4 file that I can bring over to Adobe. When you capture with Camtasia, it actually records and outputs a T-Rec file, which is a specific file for Camtasia. What that lets you do is do some cool things. So one of the things I do, and people have asked me about this before, is I can drag this cursor highlighter and then I also go to the mouse options and I grab a left click ripple effect. And then if I go to the properties of those, let's look at that. And then I'll change the colors to my guy in a cube color. And then I will change the ripple effect to this darker whatever. And then when you go and play it, what you'll see here is you'll actually see the little blue mark and it will cause that ripple and you'll see the blue highlighter chasing the mouse, which is pretty cool. So then when that's done, I just go to share and go to local file and then I go down to uh, whatever preset you have. I actually have a custom one on my main machine where I will output it to 1080p and we'll just pick, we'll just pick this one because it's good. One thing to note is that Camtasia by default, the quality of it is set to 50%, so that's why I make a custom preset and I bump that up to 75% quality for the output. And then just finish it off and then you've got your MP4 that you can do whatever you want with. Like I said, you can edit inside of Camtasia as well, so when you're inside of Camtasia, you could just take full advantage of cutting and transitions and all of that stuff inside of Camtasia itself with multiple layers and multiple audio layers and whatnot. So there it is, that's what I use to capture my screen recording. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any other questions about that. I am planning on doing, and I promise I will do this, a full, just walk through of my actual process and kind of a behind the scenes look of how Guy in a Cube is done. So stay tuned on that. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.